Hi, it's Sam from foodtools.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to make miniature post-it note holders that are just very, very sweet. Um, I've got three different styles of closure here because obviously we all have um, access to different things. So I've got one here that I have sealed with magnets, which are, they're quite high strength. You pick them up off, you know, eBay, places like that. And they're very, very thin. They're, oh, about three quarters of a millimetre thin. Um, but they're very strong as you can hear. This one here I've closed it with ribbon. You put, you feed the ribbon underneath the top designer series paper. My only grumble about this though is that actually once you've tied it in a bow and you've sent it off you know, as a gift, you can't open it and close it ex particularly easily. But it looks very pretty, um, but you could maybe do it with a knot. And then this one here that closes with brads which you can see you open it up and you write your note, close it back up again and slide the cover underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this one. But I'm going to do it with some different coloured cardstock and paper. Um, let me bring in my trimmer here because this has got a, a centimetre scoring blade on it and we're working in centimetres today. And I've got here some certainly celery cardstock which measures my measurements written down here, six centimetres by 13 centimetres. And like I say, I wanted to work in uh, centimetres today rather than inches, and my scoring, the Simply Score tool, um, I don't have the centimetre plate, I only have the inches. But this trimmer here, this is a Stampin' Up trimmer, has your cutting blade, but it also has the scoring blade as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it at uh, three and a half centimetres, four and a half centimetres, eight and a half centimetres, and nine and a half centimetres. And move this out of the way because that's that dug with. And I want to burnish these edges. Now I've done all of the measurements because we're putting a standard uh, mini post-it block in and I know that this is a centimetre deep. So I've done all of the, the measurements for you, but obviously you could make this bit here taller or longer as you wish. So burnishing the that would be my phone just turn that off burnishing these creases because we want nice sharp creases and we want it to hold itself closed as much as possible um, so that's that we're going to put that to one side and there we go get this the right way round with some snail I just want to stick this in um, into the post-it holder. Don't use high tack adhesive, just use something light because obviously when it's run out you want your you want to be able to put a new one in. Let's get this the right way around. So there we go, that's that. So obviously that's how it closes up. This is from Twitter Pated and this is a lovely, just a, a nice little um, uh, design and I like it because it's certainly celery. So I'm going to stick that on. Again with a bit of snail. Which top there? So I'm going to have my top this way round. Pop that on there. Now I wanted to put the the butterflies on. I think they're so pretty. They're from this set here, Papillon Potpourri, which you can just see on there, and it's got all these different uh, butterflies. But it also has the matching punches. So I'm going to use this one here, which is very very pretty, and with some certainly celery. This is um, a little stamping spot, and it's it comes in a set of eleven different colours. There are mixtures, some of the bright, some of the subtles, um, and the neutrals. So I'm just going to ink that up, and I'm using I'm going to use Whisper White cardstock um, because this is a white background in here. So I'm just going to stamp up my butterfly. There we go, and punch it out with the matching punch. This is the small butterfly and it's in the spring summer catalogue at the moment. Line it up. Oh, went flying, a butterfly that flies. And then um, I'm going to curl the edges and all you do is you just use your bone folder and holding it one side, just curl over the edges. And it just, it lifts the wings up a little bit. And then I've got some here, some mini dots, mini glue dots, and there it's a, a very high, a very strong glue, but it's it's already dried for you. Pop that up there in the corner so the little butterfly can fly away. 
and I want to stamp a sentiment. Now this is the teeny tiny sentiment set and I love it. It's got all these little uh, sentiments, funnily enough, and I've chosen uh, just for you this one here which I think is lovely. So again, on some Wistful White, and I've already got it prepped up, with the same colour ink, and I'm going to put that down at the bottom because I'm going to put a word window around it and punch that out. Now I'm going to show you how to make um, a word window smaller because obviously you can see that's far too long. And all you do is you get hold of your the bit that you don't need and pop it in the side and line it up. Am I getting that in camera properly? Yep. And just pop it out. So that's giving you a smaller window and I want to sponge the edges because white is quite stark so this is it's actually a, this is a bath sponge I'm using um, probably not the best effect but it seems to work for me there we go I'm going to these out of the way because they're getting under my feet where here we go my dimensional edges, dimensional as you can see they're quite big but I only wanted a, a little strip so I've cut down the edges and pop that on here and now I want to do the closure now I'm going to, I've got some brads, these are uh, lovely brads, these are subtles so there's, I think there's six colours out of the ten that you get in the subtles collection and I'm using the serpent and celery so I've got two here ready and then using my um, hole punch, this punches out a tiny tiny little hole and I'm just going to go sort of kind of towards the middle but only up about a centimetre sort of you're kind of just eyeballing it really there's there's no sort of deep involved measurements going on pop the brads through just through there and open them out And the same on the other side. Oops. Oops. All fingers and thumbs here. There we go. That's better. Now, obviously, we've got this bit on here, which is not the most attractive thing in the world. So, with the word window again, and this is a bit of certainly celery um, card stock. That's the word window. I'm just going to pop out another one stick some dimensionals on it minus the hair that's following me around it's the blessings of having very long hair and those are just going to go over really to protect it and to keep it down more than anything close it up slide them underneath and that's it so those are the post-it pouches in different styles and if you've got any questions you want to know how I came to the dimensions how I did this, the workings out how to get hold of any of these things let me know please leave a comment I do like to read comments and I do reply to all of them um, and do get in touch thank you very much bye